minus nine minutes and counting. CLS auto sequence has been initiated. The ground launch sequencer, the primary computer here in the firing room is now in control of the countdown. We'll be checking over a thousand parameters in the launch sequence for Space Shuttle Atlantis in the next nine minutes. Onboard flight data recorders have been activated. TLT, OTC, connect essential buses to fuel cells per your checklist. OTC, TLT, that's in work. Two minus eight minutes, transmitting the stored final program pre-launch commands. OTC, TLT, essential buses connected to fuel cells. Copy. Beginning now to retract the crew orbiter access arm. Is go for orbiter access arm retract. Lannis crew, our team has worked hard, and it's with great pride that we send the first last crew of Atlantis to the International Space Station with the mini research module to be installed. Well put. Teresa Annulus, our orbiter test conductor today from United Space Alliance. E minus seven minutes. Next, the pilot will perform the auxiliary power unit pre-start in about... CRPS, OTC, start APU display recorders. CRPS, recorders are running. ELT, perform APU pre-start. APU pre-start, inward. Next major milestone will be at T-minus five minutes when the orbiter's auxiliary power units will be started. OTC, PLT, APU pre-start complete. Copy. And at that time, the data recorders here in the firing room will be started. minus five minutes and counting. CLS is go for orbiter APU start. CLT, perform APU start. APU start, and what? CDR, reconfigure heaters. Heater reconfigure work. Solid rocket booster safe and armed devices now being armed. OTC and PLT APU start and heater reconfig complete. Copy. T minus. Four minutes and counting. 
CLS is go for PERT sequence four. Starting the orbiter aerosurface profile test. That will be followed by a steering check of Atlantis's three main engines. T minus three minutes and counting. Verifying the main engines are in start position. TLS is go for ET LO2 pressurization. Preparing now to retract the gaseous oxygen vent arm, the Gox beanie cap, the vent hood. CLT, OTC, clear caution warning memory. Verify no unexpected errors. That's in it. Fuel cells going to internal reactants. OTC, PLT, caution warning clear, no unexpected errors. Copy. Atlantis, close and lock your visors and initiate O2. OTC, that is in work. T minus two minutes and counting. TLS is go for ET LH2 pressurization. Activating the cameras on the solar rocket boosters. Sound suppression water system is now armed. One minute. Round on sequencer will hand off to Atlantis's onboard flight computers at T minus 31 seconds. About 15 seconds from now. Solid rocket booster flight data recorders are activated. T minus 31 seconds. The, the, the handoff has occurred. 25. Solid rocket booster nozzle gimbal check. Firing chain is armed. Sound suppression water system activated. T minus 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Go for main engine start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And zero and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis, reaching the crest of its historic achievements in space. And Houston Atlantis is in a row. Roger roll. Houston is now controlling. The roll maneuver is complete. Atlantis is in a heads down position on course for a 51.6 degree, 136 by 36 statute mile orbit. And the three main engines on Atlantis have now been throttled down to 72% of rated thrust as the orbiter prepares to pass through the uh, area of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower atmosphere. The engine's now beginning to throttle back up. 
Atlantis, you are go at throttle up. Copy, go at throttle up. All three engines looking uh, really good, back at full throttle now at liftoff, the fully fueled shuttle, boosters and external tank weighed four and a half million pounds. It now has burned uh, half of that liftoff weight in propellant. One minute, 30 seconds into the flight, all three auxiliary power units that provide hydraulic power to the orbiter's systems in good shape, as are the fuel cells providing uh, electricity to all of the systems on board. Atlantis is already 19 miles in altitude, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 20 miles traveling, 2,500 miles per hour. Coming up on staging, the point at which the twin solid rocket boosters burn out and separate from the orbiter. Booster separation confirmed. The onboard guidance system has done its job of settling out any of the dispersions that have been introduced at the booster separation. Atlantis's performance thus far is uh, exactly as planned as uh, Atlantis heads into orbit, uh, flying heads down, wings level into a historic sunset on its 32nd mission. Atlantis, you are two engine tau. Copy, two engine tau. Atlantis uh, can now reach uh, Zaragoza in Spain in the event of a single engine failure. However, all three main engines are still operating at full throttle, 104% of rated thrust. The auxiliary power unit is still in great shape, as are the fuel cells. Atlantis is traveling 3,700 miles per hour at an altitude of 47 miles, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center now 88 miles. Atlantis is uh, getting a boost from the orbital maneuvering system engines on the tail of the vehicle. Those uh, uh, have been burning now for about one and a half minutes. Atlantis, you are negative return. Negative return. Negative return means Atlantis can no longer return to the Kennedy Space Center in the event of an engine failure. It's already traveling too far, too fa high, and too fast to return to the launch site. Now traveling 6,000 miles per hour, 180 miles from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of 62 miles, or about 330,000 feet. This view from a camera on the external tank looking down the length of the orbiter as Atlantis heads into orbit on its uh, 32nd voyage into space. Atlantis, you are pressed to ATO. Copy, pressed to ATO. Atlantis can reach orbit on two engines should one fail at this point. However, all three are still in great shape. I've got a report that the flash evaporator system uh, providing cooling to all of the systems is also uh, operating uh, normally as well. Atlantis is traveling 7,700 miles per hour, 278 miles downrange, 67 miles out in altitude. Atlantis, you are single engine ops three. Copy, single engine ops three.
standing by for the guidance system to take over control of uh, Atlantis and roll the vehicle to a heads-up position. This roll to heads-up uh, uh, allows for... Atlantis, you are pressed to Miko and single-engine Zaragoza 104. Copy. Press to Miko, single-engine Zaragoza 104. Atlantis can reach a safe orbit on two engines now. Lucky dog. That reference to the guidance system's choice of the uh, roll maneuver. We have a uh, nominal shutdown on all three. You will be go for the plus X, go for the pitch. Atlantis copies nominal shutdown, go for the plus X, go for the pitch. Good read back. And that roll to heads up provides a good uh, satellite communications link with Atlantis, uh, continuing its uh, travel into space, approaching seven, uh, seven minutes into the flight. Atlantis, you are single engine press 104. Copy, single engine press 104. Atlantis can reach orbit on one engine now should two fail. However, all three are still in good shape. Atlantis is now traveling 13,000 miles per hour, 580 miles away from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of 340,000 feet or about 64 miles. Shortly, the three main engines will begin uh, throttling back to uh, maintain the structural limits on the orbiter as it approaches loads near three times gravity. All quiet uh, here in Mission Control with all systems in great shape. Atlantis is traveling 15,500 miles per hour, approaching eight minutes into the flight, downrange 740 miles at an altitude of 64 miles, 337,000 feet. Standing by for main engine cutoff confirmation as Atlantis uh, is in excellent shape uh, heading into orbit. Main engine cutoff confirmed standing by for separation uh, from the external fuel tank. Atlantis now uh, flying away from the external tank after separation. Plus X uh, burn maneuver being performed by Commander Ken Ham. Uh, nominal Miko, Ohms 1, not required. Preliminary Ohms 2 TIG will be 37 colon 30. We'll meet you in the post Ohms 1 procedure and uh, welcome back to space for you and your veteran crew. Copy, 3730, it's good to be back, Scorch, as you know, and uh, OMS-1 is not required. Good read.